I don't know either. I'm just pointing out the facts. I'm just pointing out, like, I chose to do this. This is what I wanted my whole life. And now that I'm here, it causes other problems in, like, personal life. But that's just what I have to deal with by being here and doing this. And I knew that. I used to want to be in this business because I really, really cared about music. And it made me happy. And I still feel that way. I just think the business kind of taints it sometimes. And that's where it gets hard. Guess what number one was last night? Shape of my heart. Guess what number two was? <laughs> Liquid Dreams. In Florida? <laughs> no, here at Z100. Nah. -uh. We beat in sync last night. The fact that Z100 plays our song, that's an accomplishment in itself. And on top nine at nine, it's number two. It's time number two, to number two, number two. It's time to eat. Bring the sins, bring the sink, be the <laughs> I produced Ringo Starr's last album, and it was my my only chance to sort of be like Eric and I were talking like this too, because my love of the Beatles. I got to work with McCartney, went to his house and he played bass, and I sang background with him. You know, all my life I always pretended I was John. Hey, thanks for Colburn, and I'd be singing background, and I pretend that one of my brothers was Paul. And so this time I'm going, and I look over, and there he Paul. was. Who? It really was him. Right. I, I internally hemorrhaged at that point. It was like, you know, I couldn't believe it was happening. You have to think of any band that you know, no matter how much you love anybody, you can, from Soundgarden to pick your, to Korn, if you would think that 30 years after their popularity, they could release a record and it would go into the charts hey, number at number one, sure. the dream. See, because the whole thing, they're, all of their thing, it came from great songwriting. There was something about Mark Hudson, just this weird vibe that I got from him. It was comforting, and I felt like I was with somebody who appreciated music for the emotion. I'm, I'm 49 years old. I still wake up. Man, I've been doing this since I was 11. Okay. Okay. By now, I should be like disgruntled and unhappy and like a real a Republican. But, you know, it's like I'm every day I get to get up and I'm working with Aerosmith and I'm working with you guys and I'm going all over the place. It's like. Who wouldn't want to do this ever since I was a kid? Experience oh, meets that's innocence. Awesome. Okay, so don't worry about anything being you know, words and stuff. Just so I can get sort of a scope on on where I want you to sit. All right. Like who would take the first verse? Who would do this? Who would do that? Happiness never seem to stand up, baby. When you put them to the test. Did you read it in a book? Did you see it in a magazine? Do you think that I'm some new age fool? Do you think I'm so naive? And baby, 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 you're making me go crazy. And if you call that love, then love should be a crime. You're a poet, and that your life's a work of art. But you can't be loved by numbers, baby. Gotta play it all by heart. Yeah, that was pretty good. Let me let me check that it happiness. Was before it was flat, it was no, flat. I know, I know. The in between was beautiful. I could do a better happiness. No, it's well, not easy, Streisand. We <laughs> one more, and I think we got you. Jacob, come on, baby, you're ready. Yeah, you look like you're awake. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Time to sing. I want you to sing so good your hair will straighten. All right. How you play me, play me, play me. You're playing with my mind. Sounding kind of groovy. Cool. I'm sort of liking the plugged upness. It's not plugged up. It's just more scratchy. I got to push a lot more air through. Well, that's good. Yeah. We connected on the music and we knew what each other was saying just when he gave me a look. Do not be afraid of uh, a twinge of vibrato on occasion. All right. You got it. Yeah. I felt like I was sitting with a beetle and he was giving me advice and it just makes you such a better thinker to work with somebody like that. And if you call that love and all it was was a pocket full of nothing but a suicidal gun. If you call that love, then love should be. Okay, it's, we're getting close. I'm going to start guiding him in here. Don't be so Caucasian. Let's do another one. Stay back in the track. All right. And if you call that love, and all it was was 
a pocket full of nothing but a suicidal gun If you call that love, then love should be us Crying With him it was more of an emotion thing It's like, you give me something good Ooh. It was like real, raw music and that's that's where I came from. That's what I love the most. You think that you are the troubled soul of O Town? No, you know. When I'm happy with something, it's because of the emotion and what I did in the song. But what makes me happy, and what makes <coughs> me proud of what I did, is it might not might not be what they think is going to sell. So I've been the victim of let's make this record sell. Every song that we've done so far, I've either been taken off the part or asked to go back and fix it. So I brought that there to their attention last time. Do you realize then that you are standing up for what you believe in and they are taking a different take and that are you cool with that? Because you could roll over. No, I, I'm, I've always been that kind of a person. I stand up whether they listen or not, I'm going to stand up. Mark goes, you know what? You keep fighting for what you fight for. Artists always fight with the record label. The business and the art always conflict. He's like, just do what your heart says. Keep doing what you're doing right now and you'll be fine. Hi Keith, how are you? I'm here with Jacob right now. Hey. How you doing, man? Oh, you're right there. I'm good. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> as I was talking to you earlier, I just wanted to uh, have you talked a little bit with Jacob about everything that's going on as far as, you know, the rough edits, the comments from Jay Records. Can you put Jacob on the phone? Yeah. Yeah. I don't sing on three-fourths of the songs, so that means three-fourths of the time in the show I'm in the background. No, you did it on every song. I just haven't said it till now, and it's been building up. It happened on Liquid Dreams, and I didn't say anything. I didn't get the part on All or Nothing, you didn't say anything. Now the parts that I had are all getting changed. Eric sings just as much as I do. Now how does he have a more soul-sounding voice? Ashley's the widest guy but that I know. But then he sings all the pop songs, he sings all the R&B songs that I'm taking off of. I'm looking at it as there's no reason for me to stay if I'm not reaching the goals that I'm out to reach. I'm not here to be a background dancer. That's not what I was supposed to be here for. If there's something wrong with my vocals, tell me. Stop taking me off parts. All right, Keith, I'll talk to you soon. He was taken back by it, and he was like, all right, let me talk to Clive about it, and we'll call you back. I'm iffy about being in this band. This puts me over the line. I'm iffy about being here. I don't want to be here all the time. We'll talk to Clive. <laughs> but as far as being in the group and saying that, you can't go there with the label, because all that does is scare them, make them not want to put all 100% effort in it, and that's going to hurt the other four guys. Don't go sharp. We got nothing. We got nothing. You've gone from genius to suck.